This isn't a tomb. It's a prison. You have no idea what you've discovered. Come to me. What I feel really separates great monster movies from other typical horror movies is that there's a real deep emotional investment in the characters. The hieroglyph said she was named Amunet, chosen to be Egypt's next queen. She's a princess who was promised to become Pharaoh, but then all that was taken away from her. Amunet goes through a huge series of transformations. We've mapped her out into five stages. Stage one, she is nothing but bone and rags. And then she pulls herself together, literally, into this form as she begins to feed. I saw her. She is real. I chose. Sophie is perfectly cast as the mummy. Her soul is in her eyes, and she can't hide it. And that's her gift. All she has to do is look at the camera and you're arrested immediately. I thought there is literally no one else on the planet who can play this part. And the way that she moves physically is incredible. I'm an She's a warrior. <clears throat> this project allowed me to push my limits. One of the great old adages is that the villain is the hero of their own story. I think that you will connect so deeply to her experience and to what she's been through because Sophia was amazing at that. The female mummy, what's her story? It grabs my attention. I want to see that movie. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. There are worse fates than death.